My guys, today I'm going to painting a tonto with watercolors using the new Kuretake Gansai Tambi watercolors that I bought in Japan. And I would like to explain to you what is a tonto and tell you a little bit about the folklore history that uh, you can find here in Finland about these uh, little people. So without further ado, let's get started. First question, what is a tonto? Tonto is a Finnish word and it is used to speak about mythological creature from Nordic folklore. The tonto today is typically associated with winter solstice and Christmas season. In fact, in this season you can find and buy tonto everywhere. Literally every shop sells them and also you can find them at the grocery market. They are generally described as being short, having long white beard and wearing a conical or knit cap in grey, red or other bright color. For example, at home I have one tonto that is totally in green color. They look similar to garden gnomes. Tonto is one of the most famous creature in the Scandinavian folklore, we can say, and this is why I'm here to tell you the Tonto history today. According to tradition, the Tonto lives in houses and barns, and uh, he can act as guardian of these places. If you treat it well, they protect the family, the animals from evil and misfortune. On the other hand, they are a little bit uh, temperamental, especially when they are offended. Once insulted, in fact, they will usually play tricks, uh, steal items, and they can arrive to the point that they kill even the animals in the barn. The tonto is connected with farm animals in general, but uh, the most treasured animal is the horse. Some stories also tell how the tonto could drive people mad and even bite them. And pay attention because the bite of the tonto is poisonous. And in case somebody is bite from a tonto, need the, the magical remedy for healing. The tradition, as I said before, is uh, usually associated with Christmas, but actually for Christmas you can find tonto everywhere, but uh, all year around you can buy tonto if you come here in Finland. In Finland, and just in Finland, actually there is the folklore history about the sauna tonto. And this uh, shouldn't be a surprise for anybody, because uh, in Finland there are more saunas than people. The sauna tonto has been variously described as a male or female, old or young, but it is always very little. The sauna tonto has been also described as able to change its appearance. The sauna tonto has been believed to live uh, in the small place between the stove and the wall in the sauna, so that is the reason why it is always very small. By nature the sauna tonto is described as benevolent, kind-hearted, good-natured. However, the sauna tonto also has its demanding side and it may even turn out to be life-threatening. 
Because of this, people have tried always to be good with their sauna tone too. If the tone too is treated well, he ensures the functionality of the sauna and the well-being and safety of the sauna users and prevent especially the sauna from burning. But be aware, an angry sauna tone too on the other hand could do many kind of bad things and causing disturbances, illness, accidents and even death. The sauna tonto is said to have usually moved into a new sauna uh, when one has been built in place of the old one, sometimes especially when some materials of the old one are reused to build the new one. So if you want to avoid that uh, the sauna tonto uh, come in the new sauna that you build, you have to avoid using any old materials from the previous sauna. And that's it guys also for the today's painting. I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video that is a little bit different. I wanted to uh, mix a little bit of the art uh, that is my greatest passion in life uh, and a little bit of the Finnish history. I think that uh, is always useful to have some information about another country and uh, at the same time I'm doing what I love to do and you can see my process. Thank you very much for watching the video, it means a lot to me and please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to don't miss any other content, see you next time, moi moi!